Seagrass College, like old friends. We are here because of the Beagle Freedom Project. The Beagle Freedom Project gets animals out of labs in many ways. Over 70,000 beagles are in labs right now, in universities and companies, and most are euthanized. Beagles and other animals get put in labs because they're seeing uh, the procedure they're doing on the animals, if it's safe for humans. And also they get tested on in labs because to sell something in China, it has to be tested on animals. And they test on beagles because they're docile and forgiving. Like one dog got tested on and every morning it would get its blood drawn. And when it got rescued, every morning it would like stick out its paw and they thought he was trained, but obviously he wasn't. This is about the blackout. The blackout is the USDA is blocking out all the information about like the animals in labs. So like if the Beagle Freedom Project tries to rescue a dog or a beagle from a lab, they know they don't know what condition they're in or if they actually can be adopted. So and the labs can also torture, kill and do and break federal laws and without anyone knowing or being arrested. And your taxes could sometimes go to these labs, so you should really know what your taxes are going to. Many people think animal testing is safe, but dogs aren't like us. Sometimes when it's safe for dogs, it's not safe for humans. Sometimes it's the other way around. Like what if we tested chocolate on dogs first um, we love it and it can make them really sick. And tobacco, it doesn't cause dogs cancer, but it causes us cancer. 92% of animal testing is not necessary and it's wrong. Some medicines could kill humans but be fine on dogs. These are ways testing on dogs does not work. They normally get their voice boxes taken out and they don't have names, they have numbers in their ear. And some don't get to go outside and play like these, but in some universities, they do. Corner works at Eagle Freedom Project. She strongly believes that beagles should be put up for adoption. She thinks beagle testing is wrong and should be stopped. But there is a different perspective, Dr. Jason Oregon. He tests on the dog's bones. In his case, the dogs are like humans. Their bone structure is the same. But he is testing for a good reason. There is disease osteogenesis imperfecta that affects kids' bones. Um, he has to euthanize the dogs for research. But he does give them enrichment and lets them go outside every day. He does not take the euthanizing lightly. And he also thinks the Beagle Freedom Bill should not be a thing because if the dogs got adopted and then somehow got put back into labs, the information would be wrong. And the, the information being wrong could end in death. The Beagle Freedom Project tries as hard as they can to get animals out of labs. Here's some ways they help. After testing, if beagles are okay, they go and they try to rescue them, but unfortunately, a very small amount of numbers get rescued. There's also a bill called the Beagle Freedom Bill, which um, helps the animals get adopted after they are done testing in labs to get a good family. There's a grant. So if you find, if a company finds a new way to test without testing on animals, they'll give them money in hopes that they will stop and never go back to animal testing. There's also an app called Cruelty Cutters, which you can scan a barcode and it will say if it's uh, tested on animals or if it's not tested on animals. And if it is, you can bite back, which will give you coins, or you can boycott, which will mean you won't use that item anymore. Um, but many makeup companies and household items companies do use animal testing. There are many problems with animal testing, and some could even kill you.